Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back today with another iPhone video tutorial. Today's topic is handling device security with Touch ID and passcode. Now if you're using one of the newer models of the iPhone 5 starting from the 5S upward, you're likely familiar with the Touch ID which has now replaced your standard home button on your iPhone. You can modify the settings for the Touch ID including the security by inputting the password after going to the Touch ID and passcode settings in the settings app. You'll see a variety of settings including unlocking your iPhone and using it for Apple Pay and iTunes and App Stores. And you'll also have options for what to allow on your lock screen when the passcode is being used. This is definitely good for your different privacy settings as you may not want somebody who finds your phone having access to your home control or being able to reply to your text messages. So any of these sliders can be toggled on or off at your preference. When it comes to using your fingerprints, it's usually a good idea to have at least one finger on each hand available so that you can quickly grab your iPhone and authenticate with either hand that you grab with. With. You can store up to 10 different fingerprints on your Touch ID and so it's also advised if you have somebody else who uses the phone frequently to add their fingerprint as well. Any of these options are definitely important though for maintaining device security, especially now that our iPhones have access to our credit card information and other personal information that you may not want to get into the wrong hands. So definitely have a passcode, definitely use your Touch ID if your phone supports it, and we'll talk to you soon.